of India in the northern part of the country for the Super 750 now here at the uh, India Open. He's been promoted from a Super 500. And we've got some of the biggest names in badminton uh, playing today here in the semi-finals. Fantastic first match to get us going in the mixed doubles. We're now going to move to the women's singles. Akane Yamaguchi of Japan plays the Super Nida Katedong of Thailand. And uh, Super Nida is here. Perhaps uh, with a little bit of fortune thrown in. Thanks to a walkover in the uh, previous in the previous round. We'll uh, tell you about that in a short while. Well, actually, we can tell you about it now because Chen Yufei uh, was uh, not feeling well and given a walkover. So that's how they're meeting up here. And we have uh, four different countries represented in the semi-finals. So a nice bit of diversity there in the uh, final four. Just awaiting the uh, players. Uh, making their way out now. And she is uh, certainly very popular here, Akane Yamaguchi. The most accomplished players around. The Yamaguchi, the current world champion. She's won back-to-back -back world championships, 21 and 22. She's also the current Asian Games champion. She'll have a chance to defend that later in the year. Not the Asian champion, though. She was runners-up in uh, Manila almost a year ago. Yeah, she's won a whopping... Uh, 12 titles on the BWF World Tour most recently last week at the Malaysia Open. Now, Supanida, her opponent here, the unheralded Supanida, but she does have a special affinity for India, which we'll tell you about a little bit later on. She's never won at the World Tour level, but she did come second here at the India Open a year ago against her compatriot, Busanan Ongbang Ruban. And she has twice beaten P.V. Sindhu last year and this year at the India Open. Akane there with her fans. These two have never met before. Three. Black. Three. Listen. You need to receive. You are serving. Yes. So Akane has chosen the side. There's the, some uh, Japanese fans who must be feeling uh, quietly confident today. Mind you, even though she's the clear underdog here, Supernita, I just have a good feeling about playing here in India. Every little thing that helps, she will most certainly try to take. 25 years of age from the capital of Bangkok. And uh, her current ranking is 30. She has hit 21. That was only a few weeks ago, her best ranking. Has played with uh, Thailand in the Uber Cup and helped them to that bronze medal a few months ago. So Phoebe Sindhu, that's the one that obviously uh, stands out. There are a few mitigating factors to that, but it's still a result you can have on your record. Beat the fifth seed, then goes to Gilmore. And that walkover against uh, Chen Yufei, which certainly uh, was a big boost for her now to be in the semi-finals. So for Akane Yamaguchi, 156 centimeters tall, uh, which is uh, one of the shortest around, of course, the players. The current world number one. It's only five foot one. She beat uh, Clara Arthuramendi and then Han Yue, both in straight games. Had a bit of a tougher time against Caroline Marin, but as you can see from that third game, just really powered through. Did that all in around an hour and four minutes. A 
officials. Shailesh Kulkarni from uh, India. And uh, with him, C.R. Raji, also from India. So, Steen, it's, uh, it would appear to be, at least Ready on paper, uh, a David versus Goliath fight today. And Supernita's got it all to do. Uh, we don't know. Um, she um, She's a technically strong player. Supernita Ketong. Um, and uh, there's one twist to the victory over PV Sindhu, the repeated victory here yeah. at India Open. And that is that um, this year the coach was the coach that coached PV Sindhu when she won her world championship. <laughs> Kim Ji Hyun, the Korean born here. Ladies she and gentlemen, on my right, very accomplished Akane uh, Yamaguchi, coach Japan. in badminton. And on my left, Supanida Katetong, so It's going to be Thailand. all Korean on the um, coaching chairs as uh, Yamaguchi's Akane Yamaguchi uh, to serve. all play. It's Akane Yamaguchi to get us going here. Supanida. Service over. One love. Well, very confident start, isn't it? Supanida got it all. Two love. And she actually um, beat Carolina Marin in Marin's first comeback. Yeah. Or her comeback from her first injury. First match she played following the um, ACL in her right knee. She lost to Supanida Ketong. And the um, expectation One, here, two. the way I see it, is that uh, Ketong will have. Um, a lot to show in terms of um, technical abilities, but eventually I would expect the Kang Yamaguchi to get more back than um, the Thai player is comfortable with, and we will see mistakes creeping in. If she's having one of her good days, Ketong, then who knows? Three, two. so far we've had. Oi, that's oh, a good reaction. Cross defense there. Oi. Reverse slice from uh, Ketong. Supinita's not afraid to play Four, a shot. Three. No, definitely not. She's, she's got super technical skills. With, uh, no confidence at the moment here, Supanita. Oi. Oh, what a save from Yamaguchi. <laughs> Service over. Oh, wow. Let's see that. Oh. How close was it? Oh, that's a fantastic. <laughs> that's ridiculous. In a good way. Wow. Five, four. 
first defensive shot from uh, Katong in her forehand side. Not of the right quality. She never got out of it. Yeah, Service uh, over. Five, six. The super leader recently, and uh, last year, after the Indian Open, she got to the side body semi finals. Of course, uh, it was nowhere Six near the uh, best players around. Still during the uh, times of the pandemic, still. And we had another good uh, match against Sindhu in Swiss Open where she um, was in a favorable position to uh, win, but Sindhu came back strongly, won the tournament. Former world champion. Superlita at the moment, how she's approaching things. Well, <laughs> um, she's playing a chance. Um, yeah. I didn't like the last shot there. I felt that was too much. That, that's where you have to realize, okay, my opportunities are gone. Um, but she would have to do more, and that's well played. I like that um, flat, long so line um, Seven, shot from her, eight. from her forehand there. Yeah. It, there's a bit of natural deception and she can play the cross net as well. We've seen that really, really sharp. Um, so she's taking her chances. And the reason I'm asking Service this is over. Nine, a lot of lower ranked seven. players, you, you've seen it time and again, they kind of go into a shell and, and perhaps feel al almost intimidated by playing someone of Yamaguchi's stature. But, yeah, but that's where I think the um, experiences from and last year here yeah. in India Open is helping and we know from Marin and a few other good um, outings she'd had. It's well played, good man. Boy, that sharp, fantastic retrieval by Yamaguchi. Oh, what a shot! <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, she's been made to work really hard at the moment. You also see the um, the problem, the attacking point when you're playing for the tong. And that is uh, defensive uh, footwork. Uh, some players seems to sort of like have some kind of rubber legs that can go anywhere on the court in the defense. That's not the case for um, the tong. 11 7 so, interval. Yamaguchi has a four point lead here in game one. 11 7 up at the interval. on the um, coaching events there with uh, Yamaguchi. I couldn't really recognize who it was with the uh, mask on. But, um, Park Jibong was there. The, uh, Japanese head coach. 
Gabriel Seven. We'll start first interval for Yamaguchi. It's nonchalantly played. She needed that. Service over. Eight, Twelve. Or started running away from it. some variation better her defensive footwork a little bit then um, she could uh, definitely move up in my opinion right. um, service over 9 14 at least in the top 10 but yeah it it, um, it probably requires a little bit we'll, we'll have to see you know, we, we shouldn't write her off Mm. yet here but um, she has um, some of the building blocks question is whether oh, what a beauty that's a lovely one isn't it 10 14 you've seen the raw materials are there right yeah for supernita yeah yeah and here well Yamaguchi is not necessarily the um, most attacking player and that's an understatement, um, yes. but, uh, but she can attack at Yamaguchi. Um, she's a good retriever, and eventually it might be too much for Tom, but uh, there's a lot of interesting things in her game. And she plays it a bit more pa patiently. She's gone wide. Wow, well that looked for all intents and purposes in favor of Yamaguchi. <laughs> 11, I believe it. 14. <laughs> That's a, a straightforward one for her. Got a lot on that. Working a lot in between the rallies. Sometimes the coaches have to install the belief the players are lacking that they can actually compete at this level here. 13, 14. And point out the good things they do and the things that needs to be adjusted live on court. And finding that line is really, really difficult. with that service over 15 13 
Well, that's well, a great well. shot. Wonderful. And again. Best rally of the day and a little bit of luck for uh, Kisong. You know, those weren't going over earlier. No. So she's, she's be delighted with that. I think there's some of these um, self self-help books that says <laughs> if you want to be a world champion, start acting like one. And it's um, as most of them easier said than done, but but there is some truth about it. If you go in, if you could have a, a crystal ball and, and see in the future that you would become the world champion or win Olympic medal and so on, how would you go about this match if you suddenly saw yourself as a natural winner instead of um, the world champion that you're facing? as the natural winner of a match, or thinking that it would be a great result if you won. Well, and that kind of goes back to what we were discussing earlier. Service over. This is the number 16, 30 against the number 14. 1. She could come in here, and you've seen this so many times, Steve, where yeah. a low-ranked player just plays within themselves and doesn't want to take that risk or doesn't try yeah. to take the game to the higher-ranked opponent. But Super Nita here, she's playing a shot. She's going for it. She's not altering her game in any way. That's how she plays anyway, right? Yeah, she play, She can't alter her game. Yeah. That, that's the way she plays. She can't start playing uh, too patient. Mind you, you've also said that perhaps the conditions here don't necessarily 17, suit 14. someone like that. No. And it suits a, a Yamaguchi more. Yes, because it's a little bit to the uh, slow side in terms of uh, shuttle speed. She's done well, she's only three behind. She's played some really good stuff. There you go. We also have to say that Yamaguchi Service can play in all conditions. 15, she's shown that, 17. she's won in Indonesia. Um, I'm not sure she's won in Singapore though. She still have that to accomplish. I'm, I'm actually not that certain. She might have won in Singapore. Performance here was a semi final in 2017. And the Yamaguchi. And she lost to uh, Caroline Marin. Service over. And then lost to Phoebe Sindhu. She's hanging in there, Supanida. Yep. Deception again. Oh. There it was. <laughs> oh, and that's worth the challenge, isn't it? Supanida Katetong. Challenge is called. I'm trying to remember if they've had one today. We have. Here we go. Supanida's first one, certainly. And at 16-18 uh, down, why not? And she's yeah. right. Correction in. Yeah, belief. 17, 18. There you Play. go. Only one point in it. Excellent work, and Yamaguchi now has set up. 
20. Three game points game for point itself. 17. Nicely done after a first little game, bit of a wobble. Yamaguchi, Akane Yamaguchi has taken that first game. 21, 21 17. 17. Against Supanida Katito. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Second game. Love all. So, uh, an entertaining first game that ends in favour of Akane Yamaguchi. Uh, Super Nita's certainly played a part. Thus far, service over one love. Remember, this is the uh, first meeting between these two, so she's also kind of. Pulling out her opponent. Superdina showed with the uh, array of shots she's got in her arsenal. She's quite the player. And that's a case in point. Two, love. I am a good choice in and. Uh, I guess she feels that the best end for her is the one that she's playing right now. So, good point. For gets on here in the opening stages. Service over. One, two. She's uh, started quite nicely here, Supanida. Three, no, 
I expected to unfold that um, Yamaguchi get it, gets it back one time too many. Eventually. Hold there. Perfect play. That's done. Five. Well, super four. leader. Sort of trading Five. points at the moment, these two. Oh. Oh, there's that uh, confidence that she's playing. Six. Supernita. Service over. Seven. One of the things on. Yamaguchi could do to um, take away some of the angles is play a bit more to the middle of the court. I actually think she might have done that here, but um, didn't help her. Eight. Eight. 
is the uh, biggest lead she's had so far in this second game. Just testament to Supanina really staying with her. Good shot. Oh. So into the interval then interval. of game two. Yamaguchi in front 11-8, having already taken that first game. Communicate here with Supanida just to uh, put a towel back in. Ooh, a box there. So Yamaguchi. 11, 8, play. Service over 9, 11. Sublime was that. Service over 12. Just how good nine. is she? Look at this. No chance for her opponent. Thirteen nine. Got a little bit of luck away. Four clear. Good. She had three Service attempts there. Ten, I think 13. she got closer and closer to the right length. First two were a bit shorter. Eleven, thirteen. Couple of good points here for Supanida. of uh, Supanita to stay in there, stay in contention, it's within striking distance. Oh, she is going to challenge that one. Supanita yeah. Katatong challenges called out. I saw it as some um, wide. Oh, that's that's a good challenge because I mean, sliding in, eh? Definitely want to uh, have a second opinion. It might be good. It was. <laughs> oh, very good call. Correction in. She is right in this. That's Thirteen, really, really fourteen. Shot. Play. Normally for left-handers, the cross from their backhand side will cross smash. 
Been playing right-handed players, they've got to respect the straight smash down the uh, backhand side. Service it's over, 15-13. She's edges ahead here by the odd point here, Yamaguchi. But you know, the real list of this, but. Service over, 16. Take a little of the, the pace off and uh, be a little bit more accurate. I think that's the uh, good advice that was in the middle of the uh, tram lines. Here for Yamaguchi. And, uh, three now, the key number. That's the lead she has and what she requires to win this match. to her first ever in the Open final, having improved on her performance in 2017 when she was out in the semis. Supernita has certainly played her part today and was matching up to the world number one for large parts of this match, but when it mattered most at the business end of the second game, match the experience by and skill Akane Yamaguchi. Of 
Akane Yamaguchi really did show. And the top seed here from Japan beats the Thai shuttler Super Nida Katidong 21-17, 21-16. Into our third match here, uh, semi-final day here at the uh, India Open 2023. And uh, it is mixed doubles next. Zhang Shouwei and Huang Yachong of China, the top seeds are playing. Japan's Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino. In what looks to be a very intriguing affair. <laughs> <laughs> 